My name is Sergey. I'm 29 years old, and healthy eating changed my life. Check it out. 24 years ago, when my family immigrated to the U.S. from Russia, we ate a typical diet rich in processed food, sugar, wheat, meat, and fast food. Within a few short years, this lifestyle led my mother, father, sister, and I to unhappiness, sickness, and suffering. Thankfully, we were able to turn it around and reclaim our health by changing our diet and adopting a healthier lifestyle. Because of the persistence of my Russian mother, we threw away the crap food we had in our kitchen, smashed the microwave with a hammer, and started eating fresh whole foods the way that nature intended. At the core of our success was a simple yet powerful drink we refer to as green smoothie. If you are unfamiliar with this concept, let me explain. A green smoothie is a homemade drink made from blended leafy greens and fresh ripe fruit. Nothing is bottled, pasteurized, or otherwise altered. What you put in the blender is what you get out of it, pure nutrients that taste great. When you mix greens and fruits together, you create a perfect marriage of delicious and nutritious. The fruit sugars counteract the intense taste of the greens and allow you to intake more vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants than you typically would on any given day. One cup of such a smoothie contains between five and seven servings of fruits and vegetables. If you were to consume one quart of this green liquid regularly, you could potentially drink 32 servings of health every single day. This would supercharge you in ways you can't even imagine. My involvement in all this has further opened my eyes to the miraculous benefits that can come from dietary change. I've seen people tackle everything from diabetes to insomnia simply by introducing more greens into their diet. I am now beyond convinced that if you have any health problems, smoothies and whole foods can help you immensely. I'm Juliet and today we are going to be demonstrating the Great Start Green Smoothie. And I'm really excited to share this with all of you because this is something that I drink at least a couple of times a week for the last few years. And it's really a great way to incorporate more dark leafy greens into your diet as well as fruit. So lots of fiber, lots of great nutrients, and lots of great minerals. So it's real simple. We're going to start with one cup of water. Oh yeah. Perfect. And then we're going to add two cups of whatever your favorite milk alternative is right now. I'm using this Almond Breeze because it has no sugar in it, but there's others. If you have tried this one and you don't like it, try another one. I really love the cashew milk. I love hemp milk and oat milk, soy milk, whatever your favorite is. So we're going to add two cups of our favorite milk alternative. So we'll be right up to three cups. You can see there's plenty of liquid in there. We'll have no problem blending all of our ingredients. We're gonna use flax seeds today. This is a tablespoon of flax seeds. So this is what Dr. Michael Greger recommends we get every single day. And flax seeds are super cancer fighting as you already know. So I'm gonna throw those in there. And then I usually like to do some other kind of seed. So today we're gonna to do a tablespoon of chia seeds which is also a, a super food. We're gonna throw that in there. And then just for fun, we're gonna throw in some, some sunflower seeds as well. So just to get some extra added fiber and protein in there. So usually at home, I do this and then I run around and collect all of my other ingredients. And that gives them some time to, to soak up the liquid, to soak for a few minutes. So on our recipe, the next thing is our greens. And today we have a very beautiful mix here of Swiss chard, of uh, some spinach, and then we even have some kale. So this is very high in uh, nutrient density. So we talked a little bit about nutrient density. Swiss chard takes the cake. Kale is also extremely high in many different vitamins and minerals, very high in fiber. So a wonderful thing to try to get in. Now, does everyone love the flavor? That's subjective, but as we develop a taste for it, um, sometimes you can actually start to crave it, believe it or not. So you saw what I just did there? I just did a little one of these to de-stem the, uh, the different greens that we're gonna be using. And I do that because, well, the stems are pretty fibrous, and a lot of people don't enjoy that. And you, you're, there are ways to, to eat the stems, which is wonderful if you can do that. But in our smoothie, we're going to de-stem them. 
And this, this smoothie is called the Great Start Green Smoothie for a reason. We want you all to enjoy it. So it's going to be very tasty. It has a lot of a lot of fruit and dates in it even to kind of balance out maybe what looks kind of scary that I'm putting in here right now. So there's our greens. It's about two cups, roughly. Next on our recipe is fruit. It can be frozen fruit. It can be berries. Um, today we're actually going to use mango. So we have about a cup of frozen beautiful mango that I'm going to throw in there. And you want to put some kind of creamy like fruit in there, which is in technical terms called soluble fiber, to kind of balance out the insoluble fiber, which is those, those greens, which is the apples that we're about to put in. So you can have a creamy smoothie. You don't want it to be watery and fibrous. So we're using the mango, and I usually suggest putting in fruit that doesn't have really um, seedy kind of components to it. So like strawberries and blueberries and mango are good ones, whereas maybe raspberries and blackberries, you're still going to get those kind of seeds. So if you don't mind that, then go for it. So we got the greens and we got the fruit and we got the seeds in there. Next, we're going to move on to one chopped apple. So I think little cute little baby apples today, so I'm going to put maybe two or three. I'm going to throw it in there with the seeds because the seeds actually have their own nutrients and you won't notice them because your, your blender is going to blend them up so nicely. And all you really need to get rid of with your apple is the, the stem. Otherwise, everything can go right in there. And then about one and a half ripe bananas. So these are actually frozen bananas. And I want to show you how I do it. I have this great big Ziploc bag. And when my bananas start getting a little too ripe to enjoy, um, you know, fresh, then I'll peel them and I'll stick them in here and I'll stick them in the freezer. And you see there, they maintain their distinction fairly well. And then you can pull them out of there and throw them right into your smoothie. Uh, you can also use fresh banana. And you know, in the summer, you might want a colder smoothie. In the winter, you might want a warmer smoothie. So those are things that you can kind of consider. All right, so we're moving on to our dates. This is a great soluble fiber. It's about a fourth cup and it's gonna sweeten up this smoothie quite a bit. So depending on how much of a sweet tooth you have, you can either put more or less dates. That's up to you. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this, and as you see on your recipe, you can make a decision at this point. You can decide to put the last ingredient in there and blend it all together and have it nice and smooth, or you can blend this up nice and smooth and then pulse in the last remaining ingredients, which is something that I really personally enjoy. Oh, but we have a few other ingredients here that were just kind of grab bags. So these are goji berries. I wanted you to see what goji berries look like. I'm going to throw those in there. That's a super food. And then shredded coconut, which I'm not going to put in today because some of the people that I'm sharing this smoothie with today do not like shredded coconut, but that's kind of a fun one to put in. And then these are cacao nibs, which are also considered a super food. And it's raw uh, chocolate without the sweetener. So you can... It's not going to taste like your Hershey's chocolate, but when you combine it with the sweetness of all this other stuff in here, really quite delicious if you like chocolate. So now we're going to blend this up. smooth and creamy that is at this point. It's nicely blended. You're not going to find any chunks of greens or anything like that. So finally, we can do something that uh, allows us to chew our smoothie. Um, and like I said, this is totally optional, but something that I really enjoy. So last but not least, we're going to add in our half cup of nuts. And today we're going to be using almonds. All right, so I've added my half cup of almonds. Cashews are also a wonderful addition. I'm going to throw in a little bit of hemp hearts here. And then last but not least, my favorite, a few cacao nibs. Can you see those? All right. I'm going to dump those in there. And then I'm going to pulse these in so there's still little tiny chunks in there. And what that will do is allow us to chew, which will not only slow down the process of taking in our smoothie, so it also activates our digestive enzymes, which we're going to need because this is a really power-packed, high-fiber, high in antioxidants, 
high in a lot of vitamins and minerals drink that we're going to be having today. So it's really best to kind of drink it slowly, and the chewing really helps with that. So we're going to go ahead and just pulse these ingredients in. So now that we've pulsed in our ingredients, we are ready to taste. Another thing that's great about green smoothies is that they store well, easy cleanup, very quick to make. So that made about six cups, and I'm going to split this up in between two little mason jars. That could be for you and a friend, that could be for today and tomorrow for yourself. Let's give it a try. Cheers! Mmm, so good. Now, if this looks scary to you, remember how many delicious, fruity, sweet things we put in there. And like I said, you can really play with it. If you don't like dates, put some other kind of fruit in there. If you don't like mango, put strawberries or blueberries, whatever is your favorite. And we're really lucky in this area to have access to so many wonderful places where you can go get that right from the people that grow it. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed today's demo of the Great Start Green Smoothie, full of fiber, protein, minerals, vitamins, and antioxidants. Very easy to make, easy cleanup, store as well. Enjoy everyone, we'll see you again soon.